we had the elite in air quotes, the elite taking off, taking on Griff Garrison, Brian Pillman Jr. And Danny Limelight. This was my favorite moment of the night. I really enjoyed the storytelling here. So what yeah. we had is Kenny Omega and the young bucks with Don Callis and Don Callis calls an audible right at the end, right before, or right before they're supposed to go out. And he goes, Hey guys, let Kenny Omega come out, then you'll come out. And they're like, cool, yeah. whatever. And again, I'm paraphrasing here. Like, he has here. big stars, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And so Kenny Omega does his, you know, gas bag, long ass intro where North Carolina is always mentioned, and I don't know why. Hashtag tweet the table, let us know, because I still don't get it. Uh, but Kenny Omega comes out, and then right when you expect the Young Bucks to come out, Don Callis says, hey, Kenny Omega's best friends are on their the way out, world. Yeah. and it's these guys, and it's well, the he even, Good he Brothers. Says, the Good Brothers, right? He gives you yeah. that kind of, I'm about to say Young Bucks. Yeah, that was fun. So this is interesting. What what did you make? The match was what it was. Kenny Omega. Yeah, but even uh, the Young Bucks were kind of like, you bitch. Well, and, and Tony like, Khan right, well, was in that shot, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. They did the backstage shot, and Tony Khan, yeah. who I hope isn't turning into an authority figure, but in this instance, it made sense. Uh, but what I wanted to get your opinion on is the match was what it was, right? So the 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 elite win the match, and that's fine, good. Uh, everything was good. The, the uh, losing team there did get some good offense in. But who do you think made this call? Do you think this is Kenny Omega – working almost like Roman Reigns who tells Paul Heyman what to do. Hey, I don't want the fucking young bucks or as my Don Callis or is it Don again. Callis who's saying, Hey Kenny, it's cool. I think these guys will be better. And Kenny just going like, I'm the fucking man. It doesn't matter yeah. who my partners are. I, I can win with anyone. Or is it the four of them who've been, d- d- you know what I mean? This whole plan, it's all moving fast though. Right? Like this is what I'm saying. Like how much of this, are they going to keep rapid firing? Like the Young Bucks, we never even got a word of explanation about any of this group before the Young Bucks were coming out to see what the deal was, and then they're in, and now they're out? Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't know. And not like we've said, I don't necessarily always want to know what's going on, but I mm-hmm. want to know the basics, right? Like, I want to know the start. You guys haven't told me the start yet, but yet you're three, four weeks into this now. So... I think what would be needed, I think what would be needed from this storyline is, as I mentioned, when an, uh, someone does an interview with the talent, maybe getting Tony Schiavone either backstage, sit down interview or in the ring with the Young Bucks and say, hey, two weeks ago, you're super kicking your own talent or our talent, right? He would phrase it that way. Yeah. Like you're super kicking AEW talent to save the impact talent. And then the next week you get pushed to the push to the side what are your thoughts and then that's where we can hopefully get that foundation of well we thought we were in this together too sweet brother but maybe it was too sweet for us and you know we can get some explanations hopefully uh the interesting part about this where i had some fun is uh after the elite win the match john moxley man on a mission comes out he's trying to kick everyone's ass so it's a three on one out of the blue uh, Pentagon and Ray Phoenix come out because I guess fuck the good brothers. They just hate everyone, which I love, right? I yeah. just love that uh, the Lucha Bros are like, you know who fucking sucks? All of you. I like All Pac and I don't like anyone else. I like that. So they come out, they make the save, and then there's some more scuttlebutt and all this good stuff. Then the Young Bucks come out to try to cool heads and get everyone under control. And then the Lucha Bros are like, hey, you can get these fucking feet too. Wop. And they super kick him right in the mouth. That was fun. I like that. Because, again, if you have the Lucha Bros as these tag team mavericks that, are, that say, like, we'll go to AAA and beat your ass. We'll go to Impact Wrestling and beat your ass. We'll stay here in AEW and beat your ass. It doesn't fucking matter who you are. You're our boss. You're someone. You're a young boy. Who the fuck cares? We're going to super kick all you motherfuckers. Like, I like that story. From the Lucha Bros. That was actually my favorite part of the whole segment. Yeah, I just, it's still, now I'm wondering, like, what are the Lucha Bros involved in this, you know, and John Moxley, and I get like, yes, we've talked about it's a traveling circus and everybody hates each other, so you're going to see that, but again, we see that in bits backstage, 
in small doses that weave in and out of each other. Not everybody all in. This is like the this is like the SmackDown versus Raw five on five, right? Or, or WrestleMania four man women's tag team match. Four man women's. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah uh, no, four man <laughs> women's tag team match. Totally four makes sense. Four man women's tag team match. That might be the episode. That might be the title. Uh, <laughs> but it just again, okay, I get it. Young Bucks and, and is are now conflicted. Are, were they supposed to have been involved or not? Did they just get fooled by Don Callis? There's so many questions, but you keep giving me too many questions now, right? Like now, answer one. Are you gonna answer one of them for me, please? All right, one. All right. Give me yeah. one. What is your mission? One. Tell me what the fuck you're doing. I won. I, now I like it all. Don't get me wrong. Like it's all like you said. It's all fun. It's fast. It's quick. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's good in this thing. Like not a person where I'd be like, oh, you. If you would switch this out for somebody else, everybody's unique too. I, I like all of it, but I just want an answer yet. I want to know where you know what I'm supposed to start angling with this. Right. If I were to predict what they're trying to do. Again, I agree with you. I I, I need storyline answers, but peeking behind the curtain, I think what they're trying to do is, uh, I believe it's this Saturday, Ooh, mm. or it might have already happened. I don't fucking know. I think it's this Saturday, though. Uh, Impact Wrestling is doing their pay-per-view right. where it's the Good Brothers and Kenny Omega taking on, um, uh, oh, what's this fucking team's name? Motor City Machine the, Guns yeah, and yeah, yeah, Rich yeah. Swan, right? So then... The make good on that is then you bring the good brothers into AEW and then they will wrestle maybe the Young Bucks or the Lucha Bros. And I think where the Lucha Bros fit in is let's just say it's good brothers versus the Young Bucks. Young Bucks get the win because the good brothers can lose and still be fine. Go to Impact Wrestling mm -hmm. still be fine, right? Well, then they need a number one contender. Well, who could that be? It's the Lucha Bros. Remember us from 2019 when we had that awesome, amazing ladder match? We're going to fucking do that shit again, you know, and then we're doing it again. That's where I'm thinking it happens. And then obviously with John Moxley, Kenny Omega, I think we're going to get a rematch because of the controversy from their title match. Uh, so that's where I think they're going to go. But also like what you said, I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> Man. Maybe not. Every maybe time it's I'm good. Like, All right. Yeah, maybe it's a triple threat: Good Brothers, Lucha Bros, and and Young Bucks, and they just fucking have fun. I don't know. Yeah. And to their credit, if that was their play, if like they understood that people were saying kind of what we were like, oh, well, they just doing another NWO thing, and they went, ha ha, you think that, man? Now they don't like each other again, ha ha, right? Like, okay, well, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm not back there. I can't ask. So, uh, but I like the segment overall for sure. 